Hey guys, welcome back to Techogram. Today we are going to learn what is overloaded constructor. So if you, yeah, this is the third type of the constructor. So if you have not watched the previous video, go check them out. You will get a good idea of uh, what are the types and what is constructor. So let's begin. The third type is overloaded constructor. This basically means that for this in this example we have declared a class sample and now we can declare as many as constructor we want but with different arguments. So you can declare many constructor you want but you have to use different argument. In this we passed a constructor sample with a single integer argument. In the second we used two integer arguments in the third we used an integer and a character argument so we'll see a simple example of how to use this the two basic files which we already declared is the already include is the iostream and conio now we will declare a simple class sample and in this we will write two simple variables a and b then in public we will use as the name of the constructor is same as class we will use the same name because sample and in this we will define the value of a and b we can use whatever we want it is just to show what how overloaded constructor works and in b we will pass 4 5 6 so when this function will be called this constructor will be called through main program a will say 1 2 3 and b will say 4 5 6 now we will declare another constructor as you can see i am using the same name this is overloaded constructor and here we will pass two argument int x comma int y you can use whatever you want these are just to save the value which we pass from the main function and now what we will do we will save the function which we, which the value which we passed in x into a and the value of y into b and now we will close the main class and now we will start main function so in the main function we will declare two object the name of the class is sample so use sample and first I will be our s second will be our s2 clear the screen in the s2 we have to pass argument because when we have passed s it will invoke this and 1 2 3 and 4 5 6 will be saved in both these variables and in the second we will use some arguments so there are two integers so we will use 10 comma 20 this this two will be passed here so the 10 will be saved in a and 20 will be saved in b now we'll clear the screen we will call the function display but we have to first create the function display because we have to know how to save display display c out this is just a simple message so you will know number saved in variables r and now we will just write our slash t for the space and we will paste the first one which is a we will write two different statement for both the variables uh, number saved in variable variable 2 is We will use the same slash t for the space b. Now when we call the display function, 
in two different line we can see what are the number that are saved in variables so this we have closed the display function now we click close the main class now we will call here we will call the display function for both the variables so we will use first s dot display s dot display this is our first function when we call this the value which is which it should show are 1 2 3 and 4 5 6 and when we call the display function for the second constructor which is s2 it should show the value which we have passed here which is 10 and 20 so s2 dot display s1 dot display now we'll add the get ch and close the function run the program there is no error and now as you can see when the s dot display means our first object is called the value which is saved in variable 1 and 2 is 1 2 3 and 4 5 6 and when on the second step when this function is called the value which is saved are 1 2 3 and 4 5 6 and when this object with the function display is called s2 we got the value 10 and 20 this is overloaded constructor it basically means that you can have constructor with the same name but with different arguments so if you have any query or you want to ask a question or request a video you can comment down below like the video and subscribe for more